Welcome to the Outdoor Greatness, everybody. We are here. I got her up here. I got her up here in the mountains. It's her first time I'm in the mountains, sure how everybody. You did it, but we are here. Oh man, it's gonna be an awesome week. We're up here in the mountains. It is nasty. The sun is going in and out. The rain is coming. Like, it's just, it's brutal. You know, you have to be prepared for anything. Now that the sun is trying to peek out, we've got a little bit more rain. Our goal today is to get base camp set up. This young lady right here has never camped, really in the woods even, but she is in extreme mountain weather. It's gonna be a bit of a challenge. Uh, I, we're gonna see, but uh, we're <laughs> this wanna, should be interesting. This is gonna be interesting. You're you're gonna want to stay tuned for the entire series. I'm gonna be doing some fishing stuff on my channel. We're doing camping, cooking, everything over here. So definitely subscribe. And right now we've got to get base camp set up. We gotta find a nice flat spot. I think we got lucky with the place we landed last night. Yeah. We do have a lake behind us that also has fish in it. Base camp setup. New camper right here. This is gonna be interesting. Let's get to it. Mountain winds coming down. So the thing I learned about um, last time I was hunting here, the thermal winds. They'll get they, you? They'll kind of start like 10 or 11 winds start blowing. Mm. It's been raining here. We're trying to get our tent set up, but looks like we might have a little bit more rain coming in. We might have to wait it out just a hair longer. Just uh, we have just a little travel tent, my pop-up tent. We literally popped up last night as soon as we got in. like in the midnight hours my hands are shaking a little bit that They're thing looks cold. smaller on the outside than it is on the inside it's actually pretty comfortable in yeah, there yeah it wasn't but too bad we're gonna set up a big like a camp like a, a man camp i was gonna say like a man camp <laughs> a man camp no it's gonna be glamping just a hair and then we've also got um some deadfall trees looks like some people of the park or other campers kind of sawed these down chop those up make some firewood and really get a fire popping. I don't think we're getting out of the 40s today, babe. I don't think so. I'm ready for a fire. I'm ready for some breakfast. Well, I'm gonna leave you to that. I'm gonna do my man things, grab a sharp object, and start chopping some wood. Hey, mountain camper. Hey. I'm on my Instagram. I'm just Are kidding. You? There is absolutely no way you're on Instagram. <laughs> I, I, know you're, I know you're taking notes, actually. I am. And looking at your beautiful photos we took this morning. This is the mountain weather that we were talking about, y'all. I've got a device right here that gets service for me. It just has satellite messaging and I can get mild weather updates. And what we're looking at right now, 47 and rainy. What were you thinking? Well, like, picturing. I know when we woke up this morning and we're like, whoa, look at all the yellows. Yeah, we and had the greens. like a pocket of sunshine and I was like, I, we came in at night so I didn't see any of the color. When we popped our little heads out of the tent, we were like, whoa, it's a new world. Yeah. Coming out for spring. Oh, it was so nice. And then the rain started. About 10 o'clock, we're going to have some clearing, or it's probably just going to be a drizzle, and it'll go in and out. For right now, we're 80% chance of rain. There's no way we're going to be setting up a tent in the rain. And the whole goal today is to really set up set up our base camp, get everything ready, get her comfortable with being out here. And so far, it has not been comfortable. <laughs> our drive in here. The that should have, I wish we could have filmed it. I feel like we I couldn't. should have. We couldn't because, and sorry about the fishing rods in your face, your friends as you call them. But we couldn't film it, it was dark. It, we literally drove all day 12 hours and then we got uh, we got up into the mountains and then we really had to find a, a spot mm -hmm. to go camp in the dark a dog you thought it was an ostrich i thought it was an ostrich because all i saw was the legs i was distracted by these little fishing cabins <laughs> I don't know how you get that. A dog comes running out into the road and it's windy, we're on dirt road, and I almost hit the dog, I swerved, Swerve. I was like, no, little black lamb, no! He Missed dodged it. me, I dodged him, everything was okay. Steph's heart rate was elevated elevating. a little bit. And then, boom! Boom! A deer hits us, like hits us Not just in the deer. side, like a mule deer. And I had told Stephanie, I was like, the really bad thing about driving at night is we're probably gonna run into animals out on the roads and stuff. Luckily, the deer was okay. I didn't hit it with the front of the hood. No, it just it kinda kinda, stunned it. Yeah, it kinda stunned it. I thought it was a buck at first because I had the real big ears uh, and it was just so fast, but I swerved and she kinda 
you know, ducked away. So I just kind of like grazed her and we went back and she was fine. The family went off into the woods and talked about that event, I'm sure, Probably as we did. Damage. And we start going in the windy and I'm looking at my, my map. We're totally off service at this point. I'm looking at this <laughs> thing. I'm like, okay, I think we need to go somewhere over here. And then. <laughs> so two dark figures. <laughs> emerge. Bulky, big, you know, like 300 pound, hairy. Animals animals are in the road and I'm like oh is that a bear <laughs> well, and so I was like oh, oh, oh my god no a bear she thinks the bear is gonna come get us it's not even a bear it's a black jersey milk cow <laughs> with it's like a mommy and a baby yeah and they're just sitting in the road and I'm like I'm freaking out it's like my heart rate and I'm like sinking down into my seat and I'm like I can't do this I can't do this and this is after we stopped in a, a little town to have dinner <laughs> And the waitress, she was like, oh, what are you guys doing? We're like, oh, we're going to do a little camping. And she was like, oh, like in the mountains? And we're like, yeah. And she goes, oh, well, I don't know if you watch a lot of scary movies, but you know what always happens, the campers yeah, out there in the like, woods. I wouldn't do that. It's like, oh, thanks. And I don't know. I have like a phobia of like something coming and getting me. It's okay. It's okay. We ran into some fly fishermen. They seem pretty they harmless. Did. They were walking around at night. I'm not sure about nighttime fly fishing, but... We got to camp, it was a beautiful starry night. Still, it wasn't as cold as we thought it was gonna be. We set up the tent in 10 minutes, uh, crawled into our our sleeping bags. And then around it. midnight, I heard this little pop, 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 pop on the top of the, on the tent. I woke him up and I was like, babe, babe, what is and that? I was is that sleeping rain? good. We haven't even been camping for 24 hours and I feel like I've experienced a lot. Yeah, you've heard an elk. Yeah. You've heard a wild bull elk bugle first thing in the morning. I knew exactly what it was too when I heard it. Like I didn't even question it. We both looked at each other and I was like, yep. I heard that That's loud as day. Yeah. And it is a gap between hunting seasons right now. So you can't even hunt them. And it was unbelievable. I, I got out my mouth call. I called like a couple times and heard it again. I was like, my gosh. Anyway, base camp, setting it up. Here we go. Have you ever set up a big tent before? Uh, Girl Scouts, maybe, but it was like, like a big tent. No, it was like that size. Okay, yeah, this is a six person tent. This is semi glamping. All right, so. communication, babe. You tell me, tell, tell me what I need to do. Team bonding. Well, this is going to be great because every time I've set this up, it's been by myself. So having you here is going to be great. Ground tarps are important just to keep the moisture off the bottom of the tent. No, the opening is going to be here. We're going to have an awning going out that way. This thing is heavy. This is a heavy canvas tent. Pretty big. That is pretty big. It's tall too. So comfortable. You can stand up and do jumping jacks almost in it. I have a camping hack for this trip today. Very difficult to get stakes in the ground because we're in the Rockies. You're just banging these stakes into the rocks. So what I did is I brought a cordless 20 volt impact driver galvanized i think they're 10 i think these are 10 inch bolts that i got from home depot but i've got some washers that go on the end put these in there and then we'll just that's intense drill them into the ground and that way we're not going to be sitting there and just banging away on these stakes all day okay and we're just going to go into the ground the rocks. So I'm putting a lot of torque on this thing. That's why we need the 20 volt and the impact. I smell it. Yeah, it's working. That is not going anywhere, folks. I don't want my little sugar baby flying away <laughs> in the night. basically going into a rock. It's time to build our house, honey. Build our temple. The temple of the woods, of outdoor greatness. Literally lake life. The epitome of lake life. This is it, mountain lake life, really. Mountain lake life. There's so many fish in there. Ooh, can't wait to dangle. <laughs> Beep. Put the trout on the fire right here, next to the tent. Woo! Winning, water. outdoor winning. Stick 
the rest of these. Hey, you good looking. Hey, what you got cooking? I'm asking you. Tent is pretty much set up. Just I need to put the awning up and we need to figure out these stakes. It is basically just rock. So OSG's kitchen it's scattered about right now. It is. I'm trying to get a little organized, but it is too it's gonna take way too long just to do a fire. So we're gonna try this uh, propane grill and we're gonna do some breakfast tacos. A little skillet meal. Look at that hoppy avocado. We don't have any avocados out here. We don't. It's not, not avocados out here. No. Maybe a pine cone or two. Show me how to turn this thing on. Okay, so here's your gas knobs over here. This old Coleman's been around forever. Been making camp meals. Turn your gas on. And for some reason, the lighters don't work up here. I'm just using the spark. This, here we go. So it's on now. It's ready for a skillet. And we have two coolers over there, full of food, hopefully. Hopefully OSG brought us enough. I tried, but you're making me a little nervous with the, your appetite. <laughs> Yeah. Every time I was packing the food, you're like, babe, is this gonna be enough? I'm constantly know. losing weight. I, I need to gain know. weight. While she's making some camp deliciousness at the tailgate, I'm going to be setting up our awning. So if we have some more rain, some more bad experiences with weather, we can go inside here and cook on the propane uh, inside of our awning. And it's basically like a uh, small room outside of our tent area. These camping meals, when Justin said that we were gonna be out for a week, I got super excited about packing all these camping meals. So today we're gonna start with some breakfast tacos. I've already got the potatoes and onions and bell peppers with a little bit of seasoning going. We've also got our scrambled eggs going. So once the potatoes are cooked down, I'm gonna add in the eggs and then I've got some cheese, wrap it up in a tortilla pretty much done. Super easy to go ahead and chop up all your veggies before you even get to your campsite. How excited are you about these breakfast tacos? I would, I, w I would wrestle a bear right now for one of them. <laughs> it's... I, I'm dealing with rocks. I've hit bedrock. Like we've got the corner steak, but it's, it's pretty important to get the side down because we're getting a prevailing mountain wind coming down and uh, it's kind of gonna, I know what it's gonna do. It's gonna sweep up under there. So we have to we have to get this in here. I have to finagle away. There's bees around me. It was attacking me. There's no room for bees. We're cooking on a little incline here. Oh my gosh, nothing smells better than this right here. How good is that mountain meal? Did good, huh? This is what I was missing <laughs> without you. Yeah, never gonna want to camp without me again, huh? Mm. Oh, and that's just the first meal. Amazing. This is our first meal of the day, and it's like it's past noon. We don't even know what time it is. It took us a little longer to set up the camp than we thought. We're still gonna get the our house set up here. I mean, look at all this room you got to decorate. Oh, I, mean. I didn't bring any decorations. So maybe a hammock sesh mm. might be in order. Maybe a little hike around the mountain. Mm. Or, I'm sorry, a hike or, around the lake? No, yeah, I'm not, I don't know if you want to hike up the mountain after doing all this. <laughs> Maybe not today. Just hang on to that, huh? <laughs> we have time. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Stay in there. <laughs> We're doing great. What's going on? We're doing great, baby. Stay on. She's done. You did good, babe. Thank you. What are you doing now? Uh, well, I'm hooking up our heat source so we don't die of frozation. I've got a 20 pound propane tank right here. I've got a 10 foot hose. Run this hose, and it's specifically designed to do this. You don't want to put your propane tank inside of the tent yeah, no. just in case there's like a leak, and, and just in case there is a leak outside of here and on the, uh, the system, which we have a buddy heater. They're pretty reliable, shouldn't have any problems, but we have a carbon monoxide detector. Detector. You can't smell carbon monoxide. It will kill you while you're sleeping. So that would be a bad way for us to go. It would. At least like. we would be going together. Yeah, maybe it's a good way. <laughs> Die in the outdoors, not even feel a thing. We got both coolers full of food, our dry food, and then obviously frozen food. And then oh, we got all of our kitchen utensils, things I'm going to be using on the daily. Yeah. How about that? Organization. <laughs> so Ready to go. Even got soap. Got soap. Camp and suds. Hand sanitizer. You were laughing at me for bringing that. Yeah, I actually need to clean my hands pretty bad, but I'm going to clean them with some trout mm -hmm. later. 
Oh. They're a good sanitizer. Okay. This is our actual tent. That's a little, let me, let me help you. You know, door gets a little stuck every once in a while. Just gotta. Just like the treehouse. Give it a little, exactly. So we got a nice little mat here to kind of clean your feet. Nice little padding, which is what we slept on last night. And then the sleeping bag and. We've the... already tested out. We can both, both sleep on that thing together. We have. And then this awesome wool blanket that um, my mom made hand crocheted. Hand knitted, hand crocheted, hand crocheted for us two Christmases ago. And it's been so heavy that it's almost too heavy to put on our bed, but this is like the perfect situation to have it. So thank mm -hmm. you, mom. This little section right here, in case it's raining in the morning like it was today, we can come out here, chill, breakfast area. I've never set this part up, so I'm pretty excited to use it now. Like it's it. huge. It was a good, good choice. I don't think we did it correctly, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, we got two extra poles. But um, Can we figure those out yeah. to open the windows? We'll be fine. We'll see when the storm comes. Okay, so we got our tent set up. Now Ooh. it is time to Finally. set up the campfire. It's time for the fun part. The fun part, yes. So we can roast our marshmallows and make our chili. We got our fire pit. Someone's already built it. They actually built it up with some bigger rocks on this side so you can sit on this side and have some reflecting heat, which is great. One thing we are going to do for some primitive cooking if you want to call it that, is kind of build a little side section where we can scoop coals, and then take the we can take our grate and set that on top of some rocks, scoop the coals underneath, and then we'll be able to control our heat source. We're right by the lake. We can go fishing. Campfire right here. Come on! <laughs> Full kitchen setup. How could you living not room. want to do this? this? Is, oh! How could you not? You gotta love it. Hit the smash it. Smash it. That'll pretty much do. The hardest work was the tent today. So that was the most work, but now it's just let the fun times roll in the great outdoors. Yeah! Okay. Jay, I got something. Mountain weather. You can't catch a break. It's like sunny. Look. Oh, this is a problem. Uh oh. We gotta fix that. Uh-oh, look at this one. We're building up. Ah! What are we doing wrong here? I don't know. So, I got Stephanie a pack. Have you showed him your pack? Mm, I don't think. No, we did in the last video. Yours is like ready to go for the full-blown, oh, yeah. like, hiking. Let us know in the non-comments over at our Instagram page. Caught myself there. Let us know over there. Uh, if you're liking this right here, if you're digging this, if you want to see us, like, go deep trails deep trails like together because i yeah i think you're doing okay babe you're already doing better than i was expecting well, thank you it's those girl scout skills you're looking good too mm -hmm. yeah you're looking good you got no makeup on right now this you got your new pants one, on this is day one just day wait one. until day three or we'll four check in. we'll check in we'll do a sasquatch check on like day five <laughs> These trees are ridiculous, y'all. This is our first time getting outside of the camp. OSG, I think, is in heaven. Look at her. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm giddy. Like, there's not a bad view anywhere you turn. I mean, it's, like, it's all around. It's like a beautiful scene of 360 view. Oh, yeah, look at this. Yeah. So this right here is an aspen. These are, these are the famous aspens. They turn yellow. They always shimmer. Their their leaves look they're like silver dollar size. They're always shimmering. I thought they were birch trees, but I've been learned recently. They're aspens. I've been learned. You can see where the bark is healed and everybody's put their names in it. Pretty pretty awesome. I've been to some pretty cool places to fish. Never quite like high mountain lakes, but never seen this type of leaf change. We are we are in it right now. We're in the prime. Yeah. of the changing of the leaves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now they do have a lot of evergreens here. Those never change, but these aspens and spruces and whatever else, man, I feel like we're in an L.L. Bean catalog right now. I mean, basically we're just living it. <laughs> the camera just doesn't even do it. Does not even do it. I'm feeling that altitude. <laughs> like yesterday I had a major headache. And today I'm just kind of like out of breath. <laughs> and we've gone 100 yards. Yep. <laughs> the road, it's going on. 
we're gonna just go explore this evening so stay tuned for more action thank you for being here today uh, just go ahead and hit the like button for OSG getting after it in the outdoors I'm surprising myself you're fired up right now I, am. I love it and I got my fishing pole so you know we're gonna do some dangling try to catch some trout for this evening and we will see you guys right back here in the woods Ooh. literally the lake life on the next one see ya